Me dijeron que no me pusiera brava con los hombres. Más bonitas. Porque calladitas nos vemos más bonitas. A mí me decían que no era buena educación decir lo que pienso. No puedo decir que lo haga. Calladitas nos vemos más bonitas. If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say. I'm Carmen Mariscal, Mexican a visual artist and I've been living in Paris for many years now. My work is based on different media, which is installation mainly, sculpture, video, sometimes drawing, photography and theater set design. Recurrent themes in my work are memory, fragility and confinement. <laughs> This exhibition called Calladita te ves mas bonita, which in English means shut up and be pretty, but could be translated more into sit still and be pretty. That's a phrase I think is used more in the United States. Calladita te ves mas bonita is um, something that is said to little girls and young women and then women all the time in my country, in Mexico, but in many other countries in Latin America and in Spain. And it just means, you know, it's better not to talk, don't have opinions, just sit there, be pretty, don't make any waves, don't make any trouble, and just sort of obey. In French, they have a similar one. It's called Sois belle et toi, but the meaning is a little bit harsher. I usually work around phrases or words that stick in our heads and determine us since we are children. So I had the idea of working on this theme for four years, and when I had the opportunity of showing work here in New Orleans, I thought about doing this work and asking women from several places to participate in the project. So what I did is I asked different women to put on their favorite lipstick and do a mark on a white sheet of paper, and they're sort of portraits. They're the size of a portrait. Then behind them, they wrote down their first name and the name of the lipstick, and those portraits are called that way. I photograph with a Leica camera the lips of the different women, and then I printed them out on this cotton paper. So actually they're photographs. And then I went to stitch every single one of them. Some of them have thread that is opening up and it's like these voices are trying to break free from being shut. And it's like society closing the voices of all these women. The women that participated in this project come from Mexico City, Acapulco in Mexico. And then in Paris, I interviewed women from France, from Italy, from Greece, from Bulgaria, from Morocco, from Algeria, from Madagascar, from Cameroon, and from the Ivory Coast, and in the United States, mainly from New Orleans. So when I asked the women to do their lip marks, I also asked them to write what they could not talk about, and I recorded their voices and created with a sound designer a sound installation that is like a cacophony. Their voices talking over voices, silencing each other, the way society does not let uh, women express themselves. I also printed the different lip marks on steel, and I engraved them with acid on them, and made them into a sort of book that one can open. There's a reflective mirror inside and a phrase engraved backwards on the other side. So when you open the books, you can see your reflection and see that phrase coming towards them, saying, for example, be silent. And the idea came from what one of the women said that in Syria, in her country, to be a girl is being an open book and everybody can have an opinion on your life. The personal, the pain. I cannot say what I cannot say. I cannot say what I cannot say. The series Quaff in English is called Headdress, consists of several photographs in black and white. And here there are 12 photographs and each photograph, there's a woman, in this case, I use myself as a model, putting on and taking off a headdress made out of barbed wire. The idea to work with barbed wire and self-portraiture came from a panel discussion that I attended with two other artists in Paris around the work of the feminist writer Carla Lonzi, a book that was presented for the first time in French of her work called Self-Portrait, Autoritrato, and the panel discussion took place in the room of the Maison Rouge, and the collector, Antoine de Galbert, has a collection of headdresses. So we thought, wouldn't it be wonderful to work around the idea of headdress and 
self-portraiture. And we had the opportunity to print out a book at the Centre Georges Pompidou in Paris, and the three of us made a series of self-portraits wearing a headdress. And I created headdresses with barbed wire because for me, barbed wire means the border, means what divides people, what divides countries, but also what divides us one from the other, what divides our bodies from the external world. The exhibition Calladita Te Ves Más Bonita is curated by Marcela Correa and I'm very thankful for her because she gave it context and she made it live in New Orleans as well. She introduced me to the community, putting together the exhibition so it would be an exhibition that talks to the people of New Orleans and the richness and sincerity of the people and the welcoming I've had has been incredible. Women are not allowed to talk about our bodies or autonomy or abortion or sexual pleasure.